We have at least 97% of researchers say that global warming is the result of human activity. And yet, some people in Washington right now, and it seems like the, upcom the incoming administration, is not exactly going to be proactive when it comes to putting policy into place to prevent uh, climate change. Obviously, that's a big concern of, of ours. Having been in space for a whole year, I saw the amount of pollution that we dump into the atmosphere. It's not pretty. So it's uh, definitely something that we need to pay attention to and do something about because this is the only planet we have. You know, not believing in science is dangerous. I mean, it really is. I mean, these are people that have devoted their entire careers to study, studying the climate. And nearly all of them agree that, you know, it's human activity that is a huge contributor to the, you know, changes that are going on in this planet. Do you think that there's something at risk here if we have people in Washington not believing data? it's really dangerous. I mean, long term, you know, the prospect of, you know, what life is going to be like on Earth for humans will change drastically if we don't figure out how to get a handle on the, on the rising temperatures. And especially for a country like, you know, the United States, if we do something, generally we can get the people in other countries to uh, follow along. So it's, uh, I think it's even more important for us to be the leader in this. What is your message for the incoming administration about scientific research? Well, I think trust the scientists. You know, when 97% of scientists are telling you something, you should believe them. And if you don't, go out and do your own research. Science is an investment in our future. Everything we have is due to science. I mean, if it wasn't for, you know, math, physics, engineering, people studying that and, you know, developing technology, we wouldn't have anything. With the political climate in Washington, do you worry that funding available for scientific research is at risk? You know, I think it's it's always at risk and, you know, we're going to have to, you know, see with the new administration in the White House and the next Congress how they, how they really feel about this. So I know members of Congress and I've seen what they've said, some of them, some individuals, uh, that don't seem to believe in science uh, as much as they should. And hopefully they, the new administration or whatever administration is going to recognize that it's really an investment in our future and that's why we have the quality of life we have in this country now is because of science. Seeing the publicity and the enthusiasm for your mission has given me a lot of hope in regards to the American public and our interest and dedication to science, to space exploration, because you guys are really rock stars. You know, but we're just happy to play a small role and if we can, you know, increase people's interest in science, that's great. You know, we've had both had very privileged careers at NASA and are, you know, just really a small part of a, a larger team. And it's not only the reward to us personally, but it's what is the reward to our country? You know, how does that affect our country over a long period of time for us to be the leaders in space exploration? And, you know, I would argue that it really benefits all of us.